Section 377A Does it mean anything to you? Who knows? Who cares? Should it stay? Should it go? Wait a minute. Let's think about this. Imagine if Section 377A, a law which makes homosexual acts a criminal offense in Singapore, is repealed. The reason for the repeal will be simple but compelling. People should have the freedom to love whoever they want. Sounds good? Think again. Let's look at what happens if the law is lifted. Homosexual behavior will be normalized in Singapore. Homosexual couples would want to be married just like heterosexual couples. Soon, laws will be changed to allow homosexuals to enter into civil unions. Gay marriage will become acceptable in Singapore. Imagine if some homosexual couples want to be married in a religious institution like a mosque or a church. Religious leaders must obey, even if homosexual unions are specifically prohibited in their religion. Many priests, pastors, imams and other religious leaders will not agree with this. But you will have no choice. Refuse and they'll be arrested. Imagine if you're a baker or florist who does not want to be involved in gay weddings because it goes against your personal beliefs you will pay a price for your stand. Even your children's lives will be affected and you won't be able to intervene. Imagine if children are taught in schools that homosexuality is right and acceptable. No one will be allowed to call them boy or girl because they should be left to choose what they want to be. Imagine if teachers must teach that it is normal to be intimate with people of the same sex. Teachers who refuse to do so might lose their jobs. The toilets that we know today will disappear. No more ladies or gents. Any man or woman can go to the toilet your child is in and you won't be able to stop them. If you express your views on homosexuality, you will be called a hater and a bigot. It'll be a crime to say that homosexuality is wrong. Today's holy book will become tomorrow's hate speech. The public reading of these texts will now be against the law. Think all this is too far-fetched? Think again. It's already happened around the world. Take the United States, for example. In 2013, Baronel Stutzman, a florist, was fined for refusing to provide floral arrangements for the wedding of a gay couple. In 2016, a four-year-old preschooler was expelled after her parents raised questions about the school's curriculum, which supported exploring gender identities and promoting homosexuality. Is this the Singapore you want for your children and future generations? Section 377A. Who cares, right? Maybe you should.